It's coming up to the winter break and we're going to be playing Domzale and Maribor. Can we extend our league at the top? Roll the intro. Welcome back to the Journeyman Save. I am Cultured Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. Our form is incredible. We're still just continually winning games, apart from those three draws. But really, we are flying in the league at the moment. There you can see, seven points clear of Goritza. NK Maribor have even dropped off the pace a little bit as well. 11 points clear of them. Uh, is that right? Bloody hell, we are 11 points clear of Maribor and seven points clear of second place. That's... Incredible. We're in incredibly good form at the moment. It's going very, very well. Appearances-wise, Kaisela's at the top. Goals-wise, Zan Selar has 14 in a total of 20 appearances, which is really, really good. Uh, and assists. Kingsley Burtang's up with a 10. Van Kass with 8. Savage with 7. Elznik with 6. Selar with 5. And Eremenko is up there with 5 as well. Average rating-wise, uh, Lovro, you are top of the list on average rating. So well done with that. Uh, Van Kass is up there as well. Eremenko is 7.42. Now, someone said Eremenko is like when you signed Schmeichel in the last save. A waste of money. I think he's been really, really good. Um, he's contributed to eight, go eight goals in 13 games. I think that's quite impressive for someone of his age. But I don't mind you all having an opinion. He's not going to come with us again because he's retiring. So you've only got to put up with him in this one season. But we're doing very well. And it's going quite much better than I thought it would as well. Uh, it's just been really good. Uh, the semi-final, we have been drawn against MK Domzale, which will be playing away in the first leg. Um, and I really shouldn't say this, but I can't see us throwing away the league with a seven-point lead as we come up to the halfway point in the season. And with that, we'll get into the game against MK Domzale, where we're probably going to lose. So we're sticking with the team that's performing well for us at the moment, which is Jan Zakovic in goal. Otto, he's in at right back. He has been playing very well, but he's in at right back because Pusavar is injured. Kaisel and Biaric in the middle. Sturm at left back. Ledley and Alves are in the middle. Elznik, Eremenko and Boateng sit behind Von Barga, who is in amongst the goals at the moment, which is very good. They line up in the same formation in a 4-2-3-1. But let's get into the game and we'll worry about their team if or when they score. So I'm going to assertively say... Go and give the fans a performance because we're at home and Domzale are a bit of a rival. Although they're not having a very good season this year. So I'm going to say also have faith in the players. Get out there to the tunnel. Biaric, he's been brilliant. What a player. blah de blah de blah As the game gets underway in our lovely green kit, um, Alves hoofs it forward to nobody. What a start. They are really unfit. They are looking incredibly unfit. Whereas we're not. We're looking quite healthy if you can call it that. Uh, they've actually been climbing up the table a little bit up into sixth, so it'll be a bit of a tougher game than originally thought, but at the moment, nil-nil, 15 minutes gone. So thank you to everybody that's also commented on previous videos to say what you would like to see me do, how long should I stay roughly at certain clubs. It seems the general idea is to do around about two and a half, three seasons at a club, if possible. Um, I still think that if we win... The league and the cup this season with Ljubljana. There's not much point in staying around. Oh, as Elznik puts it in. It looked like he took a deflection. Or the goalkeeper was just terrible at judging the flight of a ball. But we're 1-0 up, which is really, really good. But yeah, thanks for all your comments on it. And I, yeah, I would like to stay at Olympia Ljubljana for another season. But if we win everything domestically this season, there isn't much point. Because... We're not going to win Europe with them. We're going to leave before we win the European competitions with them. And we can win them with a better club in a better division where we can spend loads of money and buy ridiculously good players. Now, I'm not saying that's the end goal of this save. It's not. It, the, this save was just win as many trophies as possible. And that's what I always just wanted to do with this save. Just go trophy hunting, win as many as possible and do that in as many different leagues so I can trial what all the leagues are like in Football Manager and obviously we've found out that I appear to suck in Holland 
but I do quite well in Belarus and now Slovenia, which we sort of knew that from last time anyway with the Maribor save. I did very well in Slovenia with them. Oh, wow, that was that went horrendous, didn't it? That was not a very good team talk at all. We're 1-0 up, and I said, I'm happy. Maybe I was a bit too passionate and a bit too over the top about it. Okay, you weren't that bad, but I can see we can improve. Aramenko still switched off, but we can always take him off if he plays like a knob. But yeah, so I do understand why you guys want me to stay at clubs a little bit longer, but I honestly think if we win everything we can possibly can with that club, we might as well leave because... What else can we do, really? Like I said, we're not going to win a European competition with Olympia Ljubljana unless I turn this into a Maribor-esque save where we stay with them for ages, which I don't want to do. That's not what I wanted to do in Football Manager 18 this year. And I'm really sorry if that upset some of you, but I hope you like the content anyway. And if we win the League and Cup this year with, Mar with uh, Ljubljana, we will be moving. Sorry. Matashi, it's back to Sidok as uh, it looks like Domzala is going to try and come forward. Vetri into Jugova, shoots from range past the post. Jan Zakovic had it covered, not really troubling him at all. So Von Barga is not getting into this game. We'll uh, sub him off and bring on Zan Selar, who's been out of form. Hopefully he can do a bit better though. Uh, and Johan Telhort is going to come on on the left wing. Just to, you know, I don't think you guys have seen him on a live com recently, so we'll get him a run out and you can see him probably fuck it up and then will lose, but it doesn't matter. Edomenko has it. Back to Alves. Out to Tearhorst. Into Selar. Selar into Elznik. Elznik shoots. Good save. Well held by Vidmar in goal for MK Domzali. And that is only the third shot on target in this whole game. Edomenko short to Elznik. I'm glad I've put him on set pieces so he can do that one yard pass. Elznik shoots again over the bar. And uh, yeah, not not the best of chances created. There's 10 minutes to go. We get another highlight. Edomenko is looking a bit tired out there and he's been fouled that's going to be a second yellow card and we're going to be against 10 men for the last 10 minutes of this game and we should really really see this out it shouldn't be a problem so i think with that eromenko is going to come off and we're just going to go uh slightly more defensive with it we're going to put kalitu in there uh, we'll put alves up to an advanced playmaker on support just so that we don't completely devoid of attacking players we don't want all three central midfielders to be on defend but really it's been a pretty comfortable game we restricted them to three shots and only one of them on target saying that we've only had six and two so it's not been the best of games Alves into Tearhorse Sellar back to Tearhorse he's tackled and it's cleared by Domzale and Kotnik comes forward if they nick something from this I am going to be so annoyed Bizjak on the right all the way over to Friedel on the left no that's the right I'm getting my left and rights wrong Ball in, Kotnik with a header and bloody hell, it's only just gone wide. Very, very close there for Domzale to nick an equaliser as Jan Zakovic will take the goal kick. He's taking his time, which is fine. Uh, short to Kaisela, out to Bjardic, up to Alves. Alves out to Terhorst on our left. I'm getting the left and right the right way round. Who's giving it away to Friedel. Friedel comes forward. Uh, we've got not very long Jan Zakovic. I honestly thought he was going to miss that catch. Why has he hoofed that so quickly? Sidok. Tearhorst intercepts well to Alves. Alves out to the right to Elznik. Again, getting the left and rights correct is important. Tearhorst. Alves. Tearhorst has gone again. He finds him. Can he do something with it? He's tackled. I'm not even trying to try and pronounce that name. Kaleitu picks it up. And there's the full-time whistle. We hold on for the 1-0 win. Very nice. Happy to take that. Uh, we'll just calmly say, well done. I'm not going to passionately say it. That annoyed well, Eremenko last time. And we'll be back for the last game before the winter break. And it's against our big rivals, NK Maribor. And here we are for the game against NK Maribor. We're lining up in exactly the same starting eleven that started the last game. They keep with Ivanusek up front. They have their regen in centre midfield or attacking midfield. Smee and Steve Pika are big names at the back for them. And of course, Bade is a danger man on the left-hand side. Let's get into the game it's the Vicini Derby, is what I want to say. I probably absolutely butchered that, but passionately, let's give the fans the performance. This is a Derby game. We're going to go and do it for those fans. And, of course, the fact that there's a lot more to come from all of you. So let's get out there and do it. It's a massive day. I personally always look forward to this game. Maribor, you're absolutely here. I've got my Slovenia shirt on. Because it's the Slovenian derby, the big one. It's uh, Maribor versus Olympia Ljubljana at the Ljubljana. 
Let's see how it goes. And the first highlight is a Jandzakovic goal kick up to Kaisela, into Bjardic, to Alves. Alves out to Boateng, who does just get the ball first. Out to Elznik, that's a good ball. Elznik back to Otto. Otto up the line, Elznik's made the run. Can he put a good cross in? He does. Von Berger's there and heads it in past Tipika. He didn't really have a chance from that range. Seven minutes in and we're 1-0 up against our big rivals. Elznik gets the ball. Good overlap, well no, good ball back to Otto who puts a nice ball down the line to Elznik. He gets in behind, little dink across, Von Berger's unmarked and that is 1-0 in the derby. And since the goal, it's been a very quiet game, 20 minutes in, not really anything to report. Well, nothing to report, we haven't had any more highlights since the goal. This would keep our 10, well no, it would extend us to a 10 point lead. Going into the winter break, because Goody, well, Goodies will probably play tomorrow. I assume we've been moved for the TV so that millions and millions of people around the world can watch this game. But it is 1 0 to Ljubljana at the moment, which is wonderful stuff. So into half time, we are 1 0 up, still just that goal from Von Barga. After that, a very quiet game, really nothing to report on. So I'm just going to say passionately, um, what am I going to say? I'm pleased. I'm pleased, but there's room for improvement. Oh, crap. That didn't go down brilliantly well. But then you can back that up by going assertively. There's a lot more to come, and I believe you've got what it takes, and they love it. So hopefully that hasn't completely ruined the performance because we were keeping Maribor very, very quiet. But anyway, time for a question for you guys out there. Now, again, I've asked this previously in the Maribor save, but there's a lot more people who tune in and watch and subscribe to the channel now. So who is your favourite current footballer at the moment? It can be from any division, any nationality, any national team. Um, it could be a woman footballer if, that's, if you prefer women's football. I quite like women's football, but my favourite footballer is, is a man. Um, I'm not going to lie, I really like... Uh, like Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford because I'm a Man United fan. It's just their raw pace is brilliant. Okay, neither of them have been in superb form this season, but seeing them live is is really good, seeing them when I go to Old Trafford. It's unbelievable. Um, other than that, there's there's lots of good people around. I mean, Coutinho was really good for Liverpool as uh, Maribor looked to break in. He squares it in Zorko. That is an absolutely horrendous finish. That is terrible. I mean, you need taking out the back and shooting for that, really. That was absolutely shocking. As uh, we're not really struggling on ratings at all. Everyone's playing quite well. But it does look like Maribor are getting back into the game. As Zivpelj, back to Hodzic, to Kramaric, in Zivpelj. Hodzic, ball across. Even Uska's got there. Zivpelj, Sitor, or Stores there. Puts it in 1-1. A bit of luck to the goal. It sort of just pinged around and hit someone in the back of the head and fell to store, I think. As we see it here, Hodzic into Kramrich. Kramrich back to Zvipelj, to Hodzic. Ball across. Missed that header. It hits whoever that is. And then it was good pass into store from Zvipelj. He shouldn't be allowed to touch the ball because I, I can't say his name. So he should definitely be banned from touching the ball. As Sturm has suddenly dropped in the ratings to a 6.5. So Psycho-esque is going to come on because we don't want Sturm getting sent off. And I don't really know what else to do. We'll bring on Zan Selar. Oh, well, Von Berger's scored, though, hasn't he? We're going to take off Boateng and put Von Berger on the left. Put Selar up front against his former club in Maribor and see how he gets on. But, yeah, uh, I mean, like people like Coutinho, very good. I mean, Adam Lallana, his skill on the ball is incredible as well. Uh, and then, of course, you get, like, really good, solid defenders. So I, used, I said before that Storrs made it 2-1. For fuck's sake, this is incredibly bad. How can he just score two goals? This is. Does he not know this is a live stream and I should win? As uh, Hodzic with a ball into Zorko, round the corner, Volchkovic into Zinko, ball through. He looked, oh, he looked questionably offside there, if you ask me. So we now need to mix this up and go. Oh, well, we haven't. Tactics haven't done yet. There we go. Go and get a goal in the last seven minutes because we haven't really deserved. I don't think to lose this. So we're going to mix up the passing. Don't need to retain it. Let's run at them a little bit more. We've got some good dribblers of the ball. We'll go fairly wide. We're already playing at high tempo. We're going to go on to attacking and try and get this goal. Right. I think we're going to make... Van Kass is going to come on and he's going to replace... Well, I wasn't explaining away. He's actually going to replace Von Barga. And then we're going to swap those two over and play that game for the last five minutes can we go and get a goal but Hodzic has the ball into the guy whose name I can't pronounce Zorko Ledley with a good tackle but that's just a clearance it's going to find nobody Belong to Store Store to Belong Belong 
crap pass esque. He puts Seller through. Has he got the pace to beat his man? He does. He shoots, and Stipika makes a good save. Or Stipika, Stipika, whatever it is. He's not our goalkeeper, so I don't like him. Ball in for Vankas. Smee gets ahead to it, and Vojkovic will pick that up and have Maribor survive. There's four, three minutes to go now. Oh, this could be not a very good way to go into the winter break. Would still keep the lead, but it could be shortened to four points. And five minutes of injury time. And it looks like we're not going to get the chance. Eremenko out to Vankas looking for Selar. It's a poor pass. It's hoofed clear. That will be the game. And it is. And Maribor win. And maybe I screwed things up at halftime. Lucas Storr getting two goals. He's just... He's not very good. He's not brilliant, is he? Well, he's playing bloody well this season. I'll give him that. But, yeah, they took Bade off. In fact, they didn't play. Yeah, they did. They took Bade off and brought Lucas Storr on, and that was the game changer. Very annoying, assertively. You are not good enough today. Gutted with that performance. But we will end the episode there on a loss, which is always a shame. But we go into the winter break. Top of the league. Well, seven points clear at the moment. Could drop to four points if Carissa win their game in hand. But it's looking pretty good. We just could still be on for the double. We'll have to see how it goes. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll chat to you all very, very soon. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.